Don't you love that? Hey, welcome to my home tonight. No green screen. <laughs> I didn't move it. It sits on this wall right here. But I thought, you know, if I swing this thing around, it's not a bad looking deal. There's a store in downtown Waynesville that has these kinds of decorations. And I've been obviously shopping a little bit. And uh, it's just a really cool way. They have like these, the, the light bulb that you see right, right there. They have those. And um, it, I've been able to just kind of have some fun and decorate some stuff. Yeah, and thank you. It's the cabin. Definitely the cabin look and uh, up here in the mountains in one of the best places in the world, I think, to be. Don't you agree? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to my neighbor here in just a minute who played an amazing instrumental role in my life this morning. And I, oh, I'm so touched that she's back because this was just so beautiful. And uh, I wish that you could hear her sing here live but the songs that she sings are copyrighted and you know what they'll do <laughs> <laughs> so she is going to go onto the sunroom out here and uh we won't hear her but she's going to be sending the energy right into our little thing mary come on up here let's let's get a face and a name together mm -hmm. here come on in hey. here there we are <laughs> this is my neighbor mary and uh, just has been a true blessing in my life. Thank you again for today. We've done this a couple of times before. We've done it inside, and then she has a little garden. We go outside here um, under the trees. But she sings, and then and then explain the Reiki in there, too, because you do Reiki with her. I do Reiki. I'm um, a Sui Reiki master and working on Holy Fire and Karuna Reiki training as well. And so I do Reiki, but I also do song, what I call a song bath, um, which is gentle healing chants. Could you sing just something, any kind of, say, <laughs> North Carolina is a wonderful state and Maggie Valley is so beautiful <laughs> in the summer. Just sing that so they can hear how you sing. <laughs> Perfect. And she'll be doing that except with words. And the thing is, you guys know that um, from our post, and at least the Facebook folks, you know that there was a struggle that I went through over the last couple of days. And Mary came over today and we cleansed the house all through upstairs, downstairs. And um, that was quite a process. Tell them also about your training as a minister. I'm an interfaith uh, minister, peace minister with a certification in eco-spirituality. And um, what I do mostly is Reiki, but I also do um, house energy clearings and uh, house blessings. And Very powerfully. It was amazing. And I was feeling this energy shift as we were doing it. And she used the elements and I pulled out the element series and I showed her sitting right over there are the four volumes of the Steve Forrest elements series books. And uh, she did fire, earth, air, water and, uh, and used each element for part of the cleansing. And I could just feel every time we went around, the energy improved, right? The heaviness fell. And then finally, uh, she did the Reiki and the songs, and she had her bowls out here, which uh, um, was really, really cool, and initiated the third eye bowl. So we were, you know, yes. working on that. All right. Well, she's going to go out there and sing while we are doing our thing in here. Thank you again. So you she's been here twice to do this today. Can you believe it? This is a soul right here. And one of the things that I've gotten into, again, kind of this whole, I don't know, I'm having this, well, see, Venus is in retrograde, right? So I'm doing all these Venus things. So I started making candles. And I found that for about, I don't know, 45 bucks or something on Amazon, you can be in the candle business, <laughs> basically. And, uh, and I, I read up that beeswax is the way to go if you want the best energetic kind of thing. And also they put 
fragrances in these, which is perfume basically, this has essential oil only. So it doesn't give off the strong aroma. But boy, you can, especially with where she is in there, you can definitely, she'll be able to sense that it's there. So, and it's because it's beeswax, it's yellow in color. And I was burning this and you can see how slowly it burns. We were doing this clearing and cleansing and everything for about two hours. And you can see how little burned during that time. I lit it fresh. So I, I'm kind of thinking about maybe if you guys would like some of these, I might try to see if I could sell them and, you know, we could send them out to you. But um, I'm going to light this one and let Mary take that out there with her. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right. So she'll be singing for us. And the other one that you see on the mantle back over here. I'm, I'm on the, there we go, right there. That one <laughs> is uh, also one that I did. Same, same thing, I just did too. Yeah, my RV trip busted too. That was all part of this whole thing this week is um, just a lot of stuff started to happen. And I realized that exactly what we're talking about on the Subconscious Mind Mastery podcast with this series that started last weekend or last midweek, last week, whenever we started it is, is a real thing. It really is. It's a thing. So let me catch up with your comments because I really want to connect with you guys tonight. This is about us connecting. And that's what this is all about. And she's just closed the door. She'll get set up and center. And in a few minutes, we'll have song energy. So I hope that you'll tune into that. Uh, the logistics here, just so you know, this is a small little place. There are four of them. She's two doors down. Uh, we met, and of course, we hit it off right of, we, we saw each other's energy right off the bat. And then right out there is uh, through the door, so about, I don't know, 25 feet, there's a, it's a log cabin. So there's a wooden log cabin wall that on the other side, they turned the deck into a sunroom. So windows all the way on three sides and a beautiful spot. I got there and work quite a bit and I uh, use it when I can. And uh, so she's out there and I can hear her just, just a little bit. The mic won't pick it up, but I can hear it. So just feel into that right now. She's singing songs of love and peace. See if your ears can hear it. It's all about love and peace and, and gratitude and loving ourselves and being fed by spirit. Those are the words. So just stay centered with that as we go through this first part of the evening. Thanks, Liz. It's a comfortable cabin. <laughs> it sure is. Well, here's our uh, birthday girl from yesterday. Lynn has joined the magic decade. <laughs> Officially. So Lynn, we wish you a big happy birthday. And we're going to do a meditation for Lynn to get her year started when we, that she's going to be the first meditation that we do tonight. So Arnaldo, thank you so much for being here. So appreciate it. Pam, it's always great. Yay. I know it's been, a, as they say, it's been a minute, Pam. It's been a minute. So glad to have you back. Absolutely. I wish I knew who this was, but, um, ah, yeah. Yeah. Mary has been amazing. So this is just great. Oh, I love you guys so much. And I cannot thank you enough. Hey, Alyssa. Alyssa and Christian will be back in two weeks. And Alyssa will be on here on Tuesday night, 830 Eastern. Um, Alicia, good to have you back. She's been digging into audiobooks. I, I really hope that you guys on the Facebook group will really support Alicia. She is she is where anybody was when they started this journey and she's learning and she's absorbing and it's beautiful. It's so great. So I hope that you'll connect with her, encourage her, post with her, engage with her. And she's just very into it and is learning and growing. And let's, let's um, just support her in her path. Yeah. Yeah. So, Hey, Kristen, and thank you for being available yesterday. I've got all kinds of stuff. So when I first start crying, this is okay, Sarah. Yay. <laughs> Let me show you what. Okay, are you guys ready for something really, really cool? I mean, way cool. Are you ready? Should I hit it? Boom. 
<laughs> Look at this. Is this not awesome? Sarah has been busy. This is going to be available on the website soon. She has all kinds of things, and she's taken all the things that we talk about around here and created these things that we can have in our home. Oh, I just love this. Sarah, thank you so much. Enjoy the journey. We have to do that. Look at this. I love this, Sarah. You're so... <laughs> it all started with an RV. It sure did. In 2013. I love that. And here are some shirts. Highest timeline with some sacred geometry. Love that one too. She'll have men's and women's lines. We've been talking about the materials, high vibe materials, as above, so below. Boy, that rang true this week. Oh, astrology nailed it. I mean, nailed it. And trust the journey always. So we are excited. And Sarah is just working diligently to get these. Um, uh, out for us. So that's just great. And we'll have those available soon. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. That's great. That's just great. Ah, okay. We're going to do candles. I, I figured you guys might like that. So we'll figure out a way to do that. Ah, <laughs> be right in line. All right. We'll do it. We will do it. Oh boy. Hey, listen, that, Kathleen, that clearing was amazing. There was a heaviness in here that, that had been affecting me for several days. I can't talk too much about it. We'll get to this in a minute. I've got some thoughts prepared. I, didn't, I'm, I have not processed this, but I did go sit by the creek this afternoon for a little bit and uh, got some thoughts together. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm telling you, this clearing, was so efficient that you could just feel. And she said it too. Mary mentioned it too. That she said, it feels lighter in here, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So, oh, yes. And Kathleen had a transition in her family this week, and we did rally around her. It's another thought I have here is just the incredible group thing that we have going on here. Well, you know, 60 is the new 30. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we are only as old as we act or think, right? Absolutely. Hey, Carrie, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Oh, what do we have this? Look at this. Melissa is meeting with Alyssa Mary tomorrow morning. How cool. Can you Zoom it or do you want to do it on Facebook Live? <laughs> We'd love to be there. Oh, that's going to be a great one. Oh, I would so love to be a part of that. That's awesome. They all live fairly close, but not in the same area. So obviously there's a convergence going on here. That is just great. Leo's Rock. You guys, this is your time. The sun is shining, isn't it? Hey, Debbie. We got you. We got you. We got you. Whatever you did, you did it well. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Thanks. Uh, uh oh no. Oh, Arnaldo. Wow. Okay, now this is wild because an, a little part of this energy that is going on here is two weeks ago I came down the stairs and there's a recliner just right there. And I I must I was in a hurry and I hit the underside of the recliner, little toe on the left foot. Well, it's one of those, you know, when you get a foot injury, you kind of think, okay, is this a break or is this a bruise? And there's nothing about it you can do if it's a break. So, you know, tape it up and go on. Well, I think I put a hairline in it because, um, anyway, let's talk about you. But I'm just saying, it's interesting that now look at this. Look at this. But last night, there's some energy out there, you guys, and that's we're going to talk about this. I am so sorry. Wow. Can't walk on you. So you broke your shoulder. Can't walk on the right leg. Wow. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Wow. 
That's amazing. All right, you guys. So we're going to include that when we go into our meditation. <laughs> Finally, I have met Melissa and Alyssa and haven't met Mary yet in person, but Alyssa and Melissa, you guys are going to love meeting each other. <laughs> we have the best people. We just have the best people. I can't wait for these uh, things. So let's see. You guys love this. All right. Let me scan on down here. The merch. <laughs> we are good. Look at there, Sarah. I think uh, we got it going. Hey, Sophie, I'm glad you made it because we're going to kind of talk about you here in a minute. She had some thoughts that I think are very pointed here right now. Yeah, it is, Kathleen. Is it? And it is when you need it, isn't it? Yeah, like this week. You needed it. I needed it. And they're there. This is the A-Team. Welcome to the A-Team. Oh, man, this is just amazing. Okay, so... So, um, Arnaldo Carey does Reiki remotely. If you just drop in the text to the chat. Now, she is on YouTube, so we'll have to get the message over. I'll, I'll watch for it. Um, hey, is this Caroline? Oh, hey, Caroline. If you click the link that's in the description of the... Um, post where the where the live is it will let you put your name on there i don't know what the deal is it's you know go talk to mark zuckerberg about it <laughs> now liz was standing with me the last couple of days too with some reiki and so arnaldo this will be a good thing for you this will be a good thing oh you guys are so precious i love you guys i truly love you guys Good, 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 good. Hey, Susan, glad you're here. Love it when you show up. All right, so I think that catches us up. Thanks for letting me do this. I just want to acknowledge everybody. Hey, Brenda, wow, we've got everybody here tonight. This is great. My kids and grandson arrived last night. They can't believe how much peace and sweet energy there is. Oh, man. You know, that is so amazing because that's another part of this is how, how much it's not out there. So we create it, right? We create it and we, as we're going to talk about, protect it. And, uh, and we really appreciate the value of it. I think that's the thing is you really appreciate the value of it when we need it. Um, all right. So let's jump into just a few thoughts and then we'll get into some meditating here. Because we're, I want to, what we're going to do on the meditations is I wanted to do a little just, Lynn has done so much for us in our group and she helped co-spawn the idea that became what we're doing right now. And I just want to help send her, I want to help send her into this next year powerfully with all of our love behind her on this next lap around the sun. And then Caroline Horn, who has given so much to us as well with her Akashic Records readings and just her support and everything that she has done, got some equally bad news this week. Um, uh, Caroline lives right near the beach in the LA area and is very active and has a best friend who lives with her. You saw his picture on Facebook this week. His name is Marsh. Marsh has a brain tumor and that's hit Caroline hard. So we're going to do a little meditation for that. And then we're going to do a big protection for us. And I'll get through this, I promise. So, wow, I've got a lot of thoughts and little time. Let me kind of run through this quick because this is in the last two Subconscious Mind Mastery podcasts. Um, and what happened is I went to this thing in, down in Waynesville last weekend. 
and I told the story. I mean, there was this troupe of dancers from Mexico and it was beautiful and it was international day and that's the whole celebration. So the whole thing is geared to celebrating this culture. And I just noticed these skulls and I noticed this idol that they, that they had out and they were dancing. It's like, okay. And my old background just had to come up and visit me again. Right. It's like, Ooh, you know, what is this? Well, as I sat there and watched, I just tuned into what they were doing. I tuned into them. I looked at their faces. I thought of their souls. I thought of their journey, you know, shifted that stuff out that didn't need to be there. And, um, and then it just hit me. I mean, it wasn't, I wasn't fishing for anything. I was just really in a neutral place and I was trying to feel the energy. There was too much going on and I couldn't really tune into it. But what I did get was the download that in that conflict and that contrast of what these people are probably doing is celebrating, celebrating <laughs> right they're dancing they're having fun and this was their expression and then i get to looking and and everything that they were using is some kind of a can be a higher impression and we know it can also be a portal to a lower expression and that's what clicked and it was like boom wow and we had just done this book for fred called clearing entities that talks about entities and when i'm talking about that it's he's very clear in his description there are pesky little varmints like a fly that got in here you know and is buzzing around and here we are trying to do level up and there's this fly well that's like the they're just pesky entities but they're buzzing around and then there are the more severe ones and probably some in between well so what I what dawned on me, oh, and, and Fred sets up in the book, and that's what last week's episode was about, or the, the, the podcast before the one that came out today was about um, that basically these entities feed off of our energy. Fear? Ah, food. Right? Anger? Oh, more food. T-bone. Baked potato. Right? And, and there are other energies that they can feed off of. And Fred had a whole section in there about sexuality, loveless sex. Now, if, you know, if, if you're talking about sexuality in love, in committed relationship, in its highest form of expression, even tantric sexuality, is that's not the food that they feed on. And Mary is just singing some beautiful songs out there right now. So tune into that, too. Okay, so there's a physical energy of high expression. Anger can be a high emotional moment, a crescendo, if you will, right? Fear, when you're just, you're, can be a crescendo kind of thing. And so can a spiritual high. A spiritual high moment can be an energetic expression that I know it's high. I'm just saying, so is proper sexuality. Fred was saying loveless sex is what they feed on. Well, if it gets distorted, then there's, and it's a thin line. Jesse Chi from Australia, one of our also newer members, um, recording artists down in Australia, actually, um, said that that was fascinating. And I'm like, yeah, it's what, it's quite a thought. Well, just explore it. I'm not right. I'm just saying, try it on. But if you look at all the corrupted religious expressions all through the years, it's been through everything. So here is something that stands for good, and here is a corruption of that good. Well, I know, we're human, and we're pretty good at that, right? So there's the dilemma. And the thing that came back to me is, well, if I want to know, oh, wow, like we're talking about malefic entities that love to deceive, where is my spirituality? Am I being deceived? Where am I in the whole thing? And the first thing I thought is, if we can't take a look at it, then that's a big clue. That's an uh-oh. Because if I am open and clean and pure, you can have a hundred people come in here and look at it, and I don't mind one bit. It's when you're not that the wall goes up, and then it's like, oh, no, 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 and then you get into the defensive modes. 
So that's what kind of set this up. And it's what happened this week. And Arnaldo, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering here, you know, these are portals. Because Arnaldo is a very high vibrational person. I mean, I... When I do my checks, I'm like, yeah, all good. And then, you know, something happens. So one of the places, oh, and then and then Sophie um, checked in with me. Well, she was on the on that thread on that post in Facebook. And she said that her mom and friends and her little baby daughter, 14, 15 months old, and Sophie all felt some shifts this week. And it was challenging. She said, yeah, I thought it was supposed to be an easy week in the sky. And it was. There was like nothing going on, right? So what happened? Sarah said, heavy, heavy. She and I texted back and forth about the, the uh, swag stuff. And she said, man, this week she had some days. And Caroline, you got the bad news. And Kathleen got, you know, was um, as well. So. And then this thing for me started about midweek. So what I think, I think as far as any, if you want to look at an astrological correlation to this, that back in the third week of July, we had Mars and Saturn opposite each other. That's a lot of powerful energy. And I know that was three weeks ago, just saying, it leaves some dust. The sun was across from Pluto, opposite pulling, right? So there's more tension. Pluto is the transformational entity. And then right at that same time, the North Node moved into Aries. And that's a symbolism of conflict and war. And every war, except there was a bridge time between World War I and World War II, is 1930. But every other major conflict that the United States has been in was under that aspect. So... One of the things that I thought about on the high ground and as Mary is singing out there is that spiritual warfare is okay right now. So when this kind of thing happens, number one, we want a good defense, but we also now can put on a good offense and we can go against it. We can, we can take it on. The energy is with us on that. The North Node our destined, our step into future is in the sign of war. Fight. Stand your ground. Don't let those pesky flies get in your space. And maybe they're buzzing a little extra heavy right now. I don't know. But it's a thought. So um, here, here were some takeaways that I had. And yeah, we're doing okay. So one thing is to just reality check ourselves. And I talked about that today in today's episode. So if you haven't heard that subconscious mind mastery, it's 20 minutes or so and you'll be there. But I think the thing is to just be open to say, hey, I'm willing to do a, a scan. It's like the wellness check. Like you go to the doctor periodically just to see how am I doing? And... Um, Nothing wrong to do with that spiritually as well. And Venus in retrograde right now until the early part of September. So we have three, three more weeks, basically. Four more weeks. Three and a half weeks. Does it every 18 months? Well, that's a good cycle. So when Venus goes in retrograde, spirit, six weeks of spiritual checkup, and just go through everything. Now, ideally, we would do it along the way, right? So that just like with... Um, your health. It's not like you go all of a sudden every year and say, oh, I'm going to be good for a while. And then it's back to, you know, doing stuff that doesn't help your health um, process. So uh, obviously it's a thing that you want to do ongoing, but some, some of you might do it weekly. I try to keep in touch with it like all the time. Where am I right now and how am I responding? But this stuff can come from external environments. And that's what happened here. Uh, and then you'll have to just, you know, as you're scanning, well, where are the portals? Where can things come? So I know exactly what happened here. I can't, uh, not, I'm not going to talk about the details of it, just out of 
a privacy and b that i haven't processed through it yet but there are things about this story that i just can't go into um but i mean it's nothing bad in fact i was actually trying to help um but something went wrong and stuff opened up so things can come from environments they can come from items that we bring into our home they can come from uh, work areas. I worked for a company while I was starting the podcast. It was during those years I was working for a company that was not a good energy company. And as I grew and as I started to narrate levels of energy, I was like, ooh, this is not good. I need to get out of here. And that was when I was working with the coach that I've talked about in those early podcasts. And she said, oh, no, you're doing all this radio. This company is giving you everything that you want to do. Don't worry about what they're doing. That was bad advice. That was bad advice. So we have this dance between these things that, I mean, what if what do you what do you do if you if your life uh, career you what sustains you, what provides for your family, what helps grow your account for retirement, et cetera, et cetera. What do you do if that all of a sudden you decide is wow, this place is not great energy? or there's corruption here that I had turned an eye to or wasn't aware of, and now I am, what do I do? These are all valid questions and they're things to consider, part of your evaluation. There's not a pat answer, that's where you have to go inside. And we've got a lot of tools and a lot of places tucked away in all this material for you to, have to be able to do that. That's for you to figure out for your own path. It's, there's not a blanket answer. And it's not the same for everybody. And don't let somebody else tell you what to do. It's your decision. It's your path. So the other point that I came away with this weekend is we absolutely are a spiritual family. And I think we are entering a time that I mentioned to somebody today that I just said, I am so glad that we have this family already up and running and that we're not trying to start from square one right now and build what took us five years or so to build because we need each other right now and we have each other. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. So when a guy falls and breaks his shoulder and can't walk, we're there for him. And Arnaldo will be checking in with you through the week. And we will all be supporting you as you have supported us. This guy lives in Europe. You know what time it is in Europe right now? It's about quarter to three in the morning. And he's up and with us. Can we not just give him a little bit of love through the week? <laughs> of course we can, and we will. So we are a family, and we are going to hang together. And when we need each other, we can be there for each other. And that is a beautiful thing. I think we do need to shore up some alternative ways of communicating because there might be times coming. I have no idea, but as you look at patching and plugging holes, that would be one of the things that we could take a look at as well. How can we continue this if all of a sudden <coughs> Facebook is not a viable platform anymore? Let me get some chai tea. <clears throat> and then my final thought is that we do our best. We do our best. And, and like I said in the post yesterday that Kristen put up, you guys are the A-teamers. You, you all should get a free high vibe t-shirt, high, highest timeline t-shirt, because that's who's here. And we play full out and we try our best and we, we are living a high path. And then we just have to trust source. We have to trust God. We have to trust highest power for the resources for the people, for the protection, for the guidance, and for the bailout if we get in a little too deep. And we can get bailed out pretty easily. So um, one of the things that got me through yesterday was this prayer that our Satori Dharma put in the post Facebook. And I'd like to read it to you, if you don't mind. I have it down here on my laptop. 
I have it on the teleprompter, but I'd have to look at it like that. So I'm going to do this. I'm either looking up at it or I'm looking down at it. So let me just read it like this. And you might even want to just close your eyes and let Mary's song and this fall into your soul. This is a prayer of protection. And I will post this in Facebook separately, but it's also in that post yesterday. If you'd like to go grab it and copy paste it out. I call upon the power within me and the power around me, invoking the archangels and the sentinels of the heavens, as well as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and all ministering angels. May we be all protected, defended, and kept safe at all times. With the white light of Christ, a force field is permanently erected around myself and those whom I hold dear. Negative energies are scattered, dissolved, and returned to their source, unable to penetrate the radiant light that emanates from the core of my being. All shadows flee, and any harm or danger is immediately nullified by the touch of my glowing aura and by the protection of Christ. Within the boundaries of this protection, only health, peace, love, prosperity, and serenity may exist. All of my family and loved ones, as well as my income, health, relationships, home, work environments, modes of transportation and travel are safeguarded. May this protection continue to be upheld. And then there were a couple of other little uh, just lines that I pulled from some other prayers that she sent. May no evil thwart us. May no power of fear, confusion, doubt, worry, angst, or trouble have lasting influence. Remove me and all my loved ones. Sorry, let me take a second swing at that. This is called a do-over. <laughs> Remove from me and my loved ones all threads and bindings, all cords and ties, all chains and devices of any kind, all curses and hexes on any level, and return them immediately to their source. And all karmic and ancestral patterns, which are self-defeating, and karmic and ancestral links that are no longer needed, return us all now to perfect energy and states of awareness. I ask this in the name of highest source. That she listed in here in Jesus Christ, my Lord. So if you use that, that's the original words of this. And the benevolent universal energies of the Christ consciousness. And it is so. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? And that's what I hung on to yesterday. So let's, let's do a couple of things here. Let's first of all tune in. Mary is still singing and it still is beautiful. And I'd like to add one other uh, to this. So we have, hang on just a second here. Let me get my, my desk is a glass top, so I use dry markers. So we're doing Lynn Marsh, um, Kathleen, Arnaldo. And then I want to do Melissa, Alyssa, and Mary's get together. From everything from just magical connection to great conversation to traveling safety. All right, we'll do that. And then we're going to do us all. Okay. Let's do these separate. Let's do these individually. So let's just for for a moment here, you know, Lynn is um <laughs> get touched when I think of Lynn. She's, we talked this morning, actually, kind of a little follow-up because she was following me yesterday. 
day before. <laughs> and uh, Lynn has a special gift. We'll be talking about it more, but she has a real gift of discernment. She can smell when something's not right. <laughs> And she has another gift, and she's trained very well and diligently in this. Mary, how did it go? Thank you for that. It sounded beautiful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It sounded beautiful. Well, I could, no, you couldn't hear on the microphone, but I could hear just, you couldn't hear a word. I couldn't distinguish a word. She's very sensitive, obviously, to the copyrights and respectful of that. And that's the kind of person that she is. <laughs> you know, you could set that on the mantle if you wanted to, or just on the on the rocks down here. Any place is fine. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. There we go. Isn't that great? So thank you so much. Appreciate it. You, she, you can stay. You can slide out. You can, yeah, we're going to do some meditating here. So you okay. can just... We'll, we'll give you some some of this good news, all right? We'll send it back to the healer. How about that? Um, so let's just think of Lynn's gifts. And she is so humble, and she doesn't like a lot of spotlight, even though she's a Leo. <laughs> but, um, boy, is she powerful. And let's just, for a second, tune in to the energy of Lynn, however you have experienced her. And maybe you're new and don't really have a connection. You will. And just think of her co-creating this Sunday night time with me. And has been a great advisor about it along the way. Co-ownership. And think of her and her year ahead. And just send her love and support and the protection that we just talked about. The covering, white light, a shield around, angels surrounding. And Mary, if you have any other suggestions here, blurt these out, please, along the way, because she has sphere of divine grace. Sphere of divine grace. For Lynn, for this lap around the sun. And may she be brilliant and highly effective. I think that's the birthday present she would want to be highly effective in her work and her contribution. All right. Now, Another one who has given us so much is Caroline Horn. And boy, I'll tell you, our pets, as Mary over here would attest, she, her daughter too, are just animal lovers. And the animals of this little neck of the woods are very blessed to have them present around here because when a little small animal needs something, usually Mary and her daughter are right there. And she even does end of life transition care and does it for animals. So when a little dog or cat is transitioning, Mary will go sing to it and do Reiki on it and help it to move on. I'm not kidding you guys. This is, this is amazing. And this brain tumor looks like it's, going to be terminal at some point, from my understanding, Caroline, if that's correct. So let's for a minute just connect with Caroline, who herself is so full of life, who is finding her own spiritual path and contributing through reading Akashic Records. Mary, her name is Caroline Horn. She's been really special to me too. Told me to focus on books. And she said, not just audio books. So yes, ma'am, <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> so 
my next project. And let's just think of Marsh. You've seen his picture if you're in the Facebook group. Adorable. So present in her world. And all the emotions that go with it. And let's give Marsh some healing energy and comfort. And Caroline comfort and wisdom to know how to treat, what to do. Maybe resources like Mary and her daughter who could come into Caroline's life to help her with this. Whatever it is that she needs. Let's give her that. Caroline, we wish healing for Marsh. Miracles can happen. So let's all stand that a miracle comes Caroline's way. And let's just put that into the space. And then somebody who has been amazing around here, Arnaldo, getting up at two o'clock in the morning to log on to Facebook to come sit with us for an hour in the middle of the night. The man has a life, a busy one. He's a businessman. He's a European businessman. And he comes to sit with us. Thank you for that, Arnaldo. And what was presented to me when I ran my foot into the chair was, well, it's time to stop for a little while. I haven't done a very good job of that. But I'm probably unlike where you are. I can walk around. I'm just delaying the healing. So let's send Arnaldo healing energy. Let's send it to his shoulder. I'm not sure which side, but just cover his shoulders because it affected the whole area. And then his other healthy shoulder has to offset. So just both shoulders, both arms, both rib cages. He can't walk, can't use his, I believe he said right leg. Let's just put a healing shield around Arnaldo. We love you, Arnaldo. We love you for who you are in the world. And the support that you radiate, like the moon you reflect light. And now you need some light. And we're sending it to you for the pain, for the downtime. May it be productive. It's going to be, may it be productive. For understanding and for protection. Divine healing for Arnaldo. And then let's send some comfort to our Kathleen. And Kathleen, I am so sorry, but I'm not recalling who transitioned from your family this week. But it was one of her close relatives. You can drop it in there if you'd like. I'll watch for it here. But let's send her healing comfort. And peace. And awareness that her loved one instantly was in the world of higher energy, just escaping this dense place lifts you up. So death is not, <laughs> you know, that graphic, right? Where everybody's standing around the bedside crying. And then the scene on the other side is it's a celebration. Yeah. It's like this just transition. You just go into a higher Steve jobs 
Robert Glasscock has been telling this story. When G Steve Jobs transitioned, his sister was with him, holding his hand as he was fading out. And he said three times in a row, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. And that was it. It was her stepmother on the 25th anniversary of her father. Oh, how beautiful. Wow. I guess they're back together. Wow. Oh, wow. She's better. It's us who are hurting. We miss the time together. We miss the laughs, the phone calls, the texts, the emails, the connection, going out to dinner, trips. I still had no idea our fellow listener, Mike O'Sullivan, was so much like a brother to me. I miss him. I told him today, I said, buddy, if you were here, I sure would have, we would have been talking. us need the love so let's send it to Kathleen and then we have a special get together three of our 18 club are getting together tomorrow to in person to meet and share energies and stories of laughs and time. Alyssa, Eris, Melissa Gronzo, and Mary Ross. So let's just think of them with traveling safety and hilarious good time. And they all met through this podcast. You guys know if I could, I'd be there right with you. <laughs> that would be so fun. And now let's do a prayer of protection for ourselves. And let's do it pray rain style where we're not asking for, let's visualize protection. Not as something that is out there, but as something as real and tangible and alive and present with us right here, right now. Covering you, covering your family, covering your home, your physical space, your work home where you spend a lot of time, the connections, the people in your life who are bringing their own drama and trauma or love and light into your world. Choose them carefully. And sometimes you can't. And that's where the protection comes in. Right? It's all a journey. But just cover around yourself, remembering some of those words that we read and that I will post when we get finished. You can review them again. Let's also cover our friend, my neighbor, Mary. She's been a healer today. And a lot of energy has been expended from her into the sacred space of this place and into the cosmos that she has been a portal. So let's fill her cup back up. Those of you who do Reiki, maybe you could send some Reiki to Mary. She would gladly receive.
A beautiful, beautiful soul is, oh, I can't believe that I had been driving around in a van and ended up <laughs> plucked out of that thing and dropped out of a cloud right here in the Maggie Valley, North Carolina, right next to Mary, a metaphysical minister. <laughs> in the hub county of Western North Carolina and all that it represents. The ultimate Appalachian lifestyle is, is headquartered right here. And there's my metaphysical neighbor <laughs> waiting for me. <laughs> Only the universe can do this. Wow. So see that protection. See Mary's cup full. Just like Greg Braden's Native American dancer took him out into the bush in northern New Mexico and acted like his toes were muddy when the ground was so hard you couldn't even penetrate it. And it rained that night because he saw rain. Whatever you need, see it as done. And then whatever country you live in, we have several represented here. The world is an interesting place right now, isn't it? So in the same way, see peace. Don't pray for it, see it as it's happening. What would the world look like if it was peaceful? Played that audio excerpt at the level 505 from the audiobook, from the new rendition. High energy. Really high vibe stuff. If you haven't heard it, go back. It's like two or three back. It's right there. Subconscious podcast. What if the world lived like that? Could you imagine people helping each other? No trash being catapulted out of windows. People putting other people before themselves. Love and support. Shirt off your back. Leave your doors unlocked. Here's somebody who needs help. You're there. Just like Mary was here today for me. That's high energy. What if the world was like that? See a world like that. Maybe that's what we need to do is just get into this what appears to be a make-believe world, but our timeline's shifting. Is that where you want the one timeline that you want to go, the path there? Uh-huh. See it. You'll be on it. And the prayer that Greg Braden said his friend said was a prayer thanking Source for the privilege of co creating. So let's just now stand in that role and thank our Source. If you pray to God, if you pray to Allah, if you pray to Jesus. You pray to highest source or to the universe or to the all that is. Just saying thank you that I am a co-creator with you. And that all of these things that I have seen, I now leave to your mighty hand to fulfill as I continue to hold the vision. I'll do my part. You do your part. We've got a deal. And so it is. You feel some of that love? Oh, absolutely. She does. <laughs> She's, <laughs> she just kind of chilled right now. Good. <laughs> Well, it's the top of the hour, and that's all I got. <laughs> we made it. We made it in an hour. 
Thank you guys so much. We can sit and chat for a few minutes. I really would love to connect. Um, I hope this was meaningful for you tonight. It was certainly something that was with me. And as I heard more and more of you were experiencing this kind of thing, I thought, well, there's, there's a message here and it's worth talking about. So I hope it was helpful. And I hope the meditation was and to have Mary come over and be singing her. Can you say what some of the words are? Can you just, or the themes? I told them that it was love, light. Yes. Um, harmony. Harmony. Um, and I tried to say unity, but that not necessarily. I have a friend who's a peace activist who um, was part of a group called Abraham Jam. It was uh, a Christian, a Jew, and a Muslim. Oh boy, how about that? And they sang each other's sacred music together. That's cool. And they said, uh, I have one of the bumper stickers on my car that says, Harmony is greater than unity. Wow, harmony um, is greater than unity. That's cool. Um, cool. Because we tend to think of unity as being the end all be all, but in fact, what we need to is find unity within the many varied gifts that we all bring to the table. Mm, that's great. Unity among all the varied gifts that we bring to the table. That's awesome. Oh, wow. So let's catch up on some comments here because this is great. We are all in harmony in this group. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, we're going to have a high vibe week. We just we just kicked it off. <laughs> I hope you guys have a blast tomorrow. I want to hear all about it. Absolutely want to hear all about it. This is great. Hey, April. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. This is great. Love to all. All right, you guys have a wonderful rest of the evening, a very fantastic, amazing week, and um, Arnaldo will be sending you love every day. And uh, oh, that would be so cool. You guys, you and Alyssa should be able to get in and get that started. If you can't, let me know and I'll kind of be watching for you, all right? So uh, we'll do that. Wow, great. Super, Alicia. Glad you, glad that was perceptive. That's awesome. Caroline says she was giving Marsh some Reiki and sending to others as well. I don't know if there's anything that, if you feel led or want to connect with Caroline Horn on here. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Caroline, I'll have Mary, because Mary, this is her thing. I mean, this is what she does. He, she said Marsh is very relaxed. And they're heading out to a sound big, a sound bath. That's awesome. Great. Great, great, great. Thanks, Sophie. And we're sending love to you and Ivy and your mom as well. Thanks for being here. You guys are just so great. I love you so much. I can't, I know I've said that about what a dozen times, but I do. A medium follow. I said, if you are in a space to step up and heal and can be a healer, now is the time. You believe that? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, totally. Claim your blessings. Lynn, thank you for being here. Oh, Sarah was sending Marsh some Reiki head scratches. <laughs> That's great. All right. Okay, you guys, have a great week. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'll be back next week, and then Alyssa and Kristen will be with us the week after that. All right? Have a wonderful week. I love you. Good night.